This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. tuned in to the primetime news bulletin with me Sindhuja. Let's take a quick look at all the news making the headlines now. Tamar Mayam is posed voice to launch the fifth edition of the Chennai Sangamam, setting aside any limitation after raids conducted by the CBI. We've done a lot of good work and I don't think it has to affect uh, the image of Tamar Mayam. Chennai Sangamam, he's going to rock, it will rock. Crime is back with a bang in 2011 with a history sheeter being hacked to death just a few hours into the new year. Take a look at the scene of crime. History sheeter Munnabai was hacked to death by a 10 member gang. The fast growing suburb of Nolambur is rattled by bad roads. This is a case of sheer irony. Adipada road is a very bad road. It's a very bad road. It's a very bad road. Day to day life is a risk. Out of sight, out of mind is certainly not in tune for these NRIs as the Margari magic continues to enthrall them. Care to, you know, take care of my health and stamina in the last three years so, so that, you know, it's, it's not that tough to get back uh, to the performing uh, mode. Those are, of course, the top stories making all the local headlines on headlines. Now, let's take a quick look at all the national headlines. Pranav Mukherjee again rules out a JPC, he says even the Prime Minister's offer to appear before a PAC was not needed. The anguished parents of Arushi say they will ask a local court to let them examine the CBI's closure report before it takes a decision. The Telangana Rashtriya Samiti will not attend the meeting convened by the Centre on the Sri Krishna report on settled status for Telangana. Mayawati suspends her Banda MLA 10 days after he was accused of raping a minor girl and framing her for theft. India picked three South African wickets on a cloudy Cape Town day, but the hosts recover to 163 on day one. Well, after the CBI raided the NGO Tamar Mayam in connection to the 2G scam, one would really expect a no-show or nothing big from this particular organization. However, the DMK MP Kanimuri, who is also on the board of directors of this NGO, has proudly announced that the Chennai Sangamam will take place as scheduled. Chennai Sangamam is in fact an annual folk festival held by the organization. She was rather confident that the raids will not have an adverse impact on the festival and has even gone out to defend the organization. Now, way back in December 2010, the offices of Tamir Mayam were indeed raided by the CBI. The founder, who happens to be Father Jagat Kasper, was also pulled up for questioning in connection to the former telecom minister A. Raja's involvement in the 2G spectrum scam. As we've been saying, it is a, it's a part of the process. Why should it affect? We've done a lot of good work and I don't think it has to affect uh, the image of Tamil Mayam at all. Everybody was sure and uh, somebody asked about public image and so on. We never knew that we enjoyed such, you know, grassroots level support. In fact, I can say, I mean, several people who we never imagined would drop in and say that we are with you, go ahead and do something good you have done. Uh, in that way, it was a wonderful opportunity to know that a lot of people cared for us and cared for us, which we never knew, we never knew. I think mean, this issue has given us an opportunity for people to come and tell us we do care about this, care about you, you have our support, otherwise we wouldn't be sitting here comfortably and facing you first, because we do feel that we enjoy tremendous unstated support from the government. Well, moving on, this bit of news is sure to enthuse all you science enthusiasts out there. The 98th Indian Science Congress will begin on January 3rd and go on for four days in the city. The Prime Minister Manmohan Singh will inaugurate this Congress. Nobel laureates and scientists are expected to address the plenary session. Now, this Congress is indeed the largest national science event which will discuss the direction in which science is heading in the nation. About 7,000 delegates will be present and the highlight of this session will be national perspectives of different science departments Space Summit with global participation and at a Children's Science Congress as well. 
Uh, the corporate giant Ratan Tata will be awarded the Jawaharlal Nehru Award for his contribution to the society. Along with this, Telecom Minister Kapil Sibyl, Home Minister P. Chidambaram, Minister for Chemicals and Fertilizers M. K. Aragiri, Deputy Chief Minister M. K. Stalin are expected to participate in the inaugural function tomorrow. 15,000, even more than that, delegates, they are coming for the first time in the history of Science Congress. This, this is the uh, largest number. So what I feel that this will definitely going to give a very big impact on say, the mind of say, the, the teachers as well as say, the young uh, researchers, even say, the old people, they, 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 they have say, come, so old scientists, they will interact with each other and I feel that the message will go. Now, while the city was heralding in a new year, the crime wave also washed right into 2011. A rowdy shooter was hacked to death in Chennai's suburb Kanaginagar. Investigations have revealed that the deceased extorted money from an auto driver in his locality, which led to a scuffle. A 22-year-old was also stabbed in this altercation. Our crime reporter Salim was at the scene of the crime with these details of this gory murder. The city police say they have detained two accused in connection with the murder case. Take a look at the scene of crime. History shooter Munna Bai was hacked to death by a 10-member gang and his head was smashed with his grinding stone. While history shooter Munna Bai succumbed to the injuries, the second victim in this case, Nithya, is undergoing treatment at the government general hospital. Police say both the victims were detained under Gundas Act before they walked free last week. Reportedly, Munabai extorted money from an auto driver last night to consume liquor. Around 10 gangsters who came in support of the auto driver chased and hacked Munabai to death. Kannaginaga, this area where local rowdies rule the roost, is tensed. Well, moving on, as if an interstate bus accident weren't enough, back in Chennai, a bus driver was seriously injured in a head-on collision between two passenger buses in Seleyur this morning. Several passengers also suffered injuries in this accident. The MTC bus T51 heading from Tirwanmuyo towards East Tambaram collided with another MTC bus approaching in the opposite direction. This incident took place right near the Selayur police station. The injured were immediately rushed to a nearby hospital. The traffic wing of the suburban police in, uh, have indeed registered a case and are investigating into the cause of the accident. In the Fast-growing suburbs but inroads in an abysmal state. This irony is widespread in Chennai and the latest area to join the bandwagon is Nolambur. And this is a case of sheer irony. Take a, take a look at this special report being provided to you by Pratiksha Ramkumar. This is not a road even for the sturdiest of souls. But this stretch houses a preschool. Every day, parents offer a silent prayer while taking their toddlers to and from school. In fact, thousands of residents have to use this road to reach the city every day. People say that most autos refuse to enter Nolambur and if at all they agree, they overcharge. Nolambur, once the fastest developing suburb of Ananagar, is a case study in poor infrastructure facilities, say residents. Sewage cleaning lorries like these are a common sight in this area. None of the apartments have proper drainage connection. CMD approved the drainage is not CMD approved the drainage is not in the apartments. We don't have any plan for the drainage. We use it for 6 months. We don't have any dispute for that. Lack of sewer lines and storm water drains is clearly visible. Look at this piled up muck surrounding these expensive apartments. Rampant water stagnation and uncleared garbage have become a huge health hazard, say residents. Maybe they collect it at one spot in the complex and then they take it out and put it away. They, they don't really take it away. Because of this, you got mosquitoes. A proposal to relay roads has been submitted, but funds are awaited, says Rajan, the panchayat head. Rajan also says CMDA approval granted to these apartments clearly states that drainage connections will not be provided. Frustrated residents say 
they will boycott the upcoming state elections. These apartment complexes house nearly thousands of families and they won't know what really they did wrong to have to travel on a road like this. And with the village panchayat actually citing major fund shortage, their nightmares seem far from over. In Chennai, Pritik Sharam Kumar for NDTV Hindu. Well, still ahead on headlines now, it looks like onions are all set to make you smile instead of cry. Stay tuned, we'll tell you why.